if you're looking for motivation to help you increase your sales, increase your production at your dealership, sorry to say, but it will never, ever happen. Motivation isn't the what's going to get you to the next level. Let me explain what motivation is. Motivation is like fuel to a vehicle. You can have a nice looking vehicle with all the trimmings and all the features that come along with it. But if there's no gas in that car, guess what? It'll never move. So it's borderline useless. And motivation is like that with us. Motivation is the fuel to get us moving, but it is not that thing which will sustain us. You have to realize something, that each and every one of us has something in us called fight or flight, okay? The fight instinct is there for protection, but so is the flight. The flight is there to protect us from potential danger. Back in the day, when we were wandering around as cavemen and the animals were out there, you know, we needed that little bit of something to give us an advantage. So if a lion was there, we'd have enough reaction time to bust a move. So what the flight instinct has in us is that anything that may do us harm, risk us uh, any type of danger, we will avoid it like the plague. So let's think about this for a second. As a manager, you probably do all types of motivating tactics for your team and doesn't seem to stick. As a sales professional, you probably listen to the tapes or the, watch the DVDs and listen to the audio, but yet every single day, it's almost like you're starting over again and the motivation just isn't working. It's because the motivation is there just to get you going, but it requires deep down concentrated effort on our part for it to sustain it. And let's just face it, what is it that causes us the anxiety? What causes us the fear? Many times it's just lack of preparation. Okay, most salespeople are terrified to go out there and greet this person because they may have been shut down before. What causes most shutdowns is the incorrect way of approaching a person. You have people still going to people and saying, can I help you and how you doing? And those two questions don't do anything for us as opposed to welcoming a person to your life, greeting them with a the handshake, giving them your name, getting there, and then flowing from there, okay, called pattern interrupt where we introduce ourselves to people in a way that they're not used to. But if you go out and you get shut down and you get rejected, it doesn't feel good. So what that flight instinct does in our brain, it tells us, oh, last time we went to pro somebody, we didn't like the way they felt. So you'll come up with every single reason why you're not going to approach this person. Hey, I got to go make some phone calls. I need to use the bathroom. Uh, I need to go get some coffee. I need to go check on that deal from yesterday. You ever notice how difficult or how challenging it is just to get yourself going, to get out there and start interacting with people? Of course you do. We've all went through it. But what causes that is that any type of, uh, uh, like I said, rejection or objections we face that made us uncomfortable, our brain is wired to help us resist that. So motivation is great as far as listening to it, trying to learn something to help get yourself revved up and going. But you have to find that why. What is your passion? What is it that wakes you up, helps you get dressed, and drive into that dealership each and every day? Is it your children? Is it your spouse? Is it a vision? Or is it a place that you want to go? Whatever it is, that is going to be that driving force. That once that motivation gives you that push, that why is that thing that will pull you and keep you tugging along. You see, most people are looking for a, a job opportunity where they get paid the money they want. They feel great and happy every day that they come in. And life is just blissful. And as much as I would love to give that to you, that does not exist. I mean, I own my companies, and there are still days that I'm going to bang my head against the wall. But, you know, you have to accept the good with the bad. So my motivation is what gives me, gives me that fuel. But my why, which is continuing to help men and women all around the country and in different parts of the world be able to maximize on this magnificent career in automotive sales. I mean, think about it. What other business can you go into? with minimal to no experience. Pick up the tools and truly turn yourself into a six-figure earner consistently every year. Where can an individual with a GED, minimal college, go and make as much money, if not more, than most doctors and lawyers? This business is great, but it'll give as much to you as you give to it. So realize that motivation is just fuel, but you have to identify a why. Your why is what gets you over the hump. And I highly encourage you to make sure you are trained. Do you know that 90% of salespeople never read a sales book? Ever? And that's sad. Seeing as we make our money, we earn our living by providing a service and giving people a positive experience. But yet, 
We'll spend more time watching the basketball game, the football game, hanging out, watching reality TV, than we do actually filling our mental Rolodex up with the tools to make us more pr productive, profitable, and help us develop more passion, okay? I work with men and women all over the place that are truly earning $100,000 or better. And you can too, it's possible, but you have to stay with your nose to the grind. Constantly, constantly looking to expand and improve your selling ability, okay? Listening with the intent to understand. Asking the right questions. Making sure that you be a solution provider. There's no such thing as a natural born salesperson, but there are certain characteristics and traits that you may have that make it easier for you to get in, adapt, and be successful, but it takes work, it takes effort. And if you do what's easy, your career will be hard. But if you do what's hard, your career and your money-making opportunities become much easier. So I highly encourage you to make sure you focus and concentrate on your why. Identify that why. Once you get it, write it down. If it's the kids, bring in a picture. If it's to buy a new car, bring in a picture. If it's a new home, same thing. If it's to do something for your spouse, write it out, post it up. Whatever it takes that every time you look around or you feel like stopping or slowing up, that thing is there to remind you. And one of the things I like to say is, if your family was at work with you, would they be proud of you or would they be embarrassed? And if you know they'd be embarrassed, we got to get to work. So make sure that you like, click the like button, give us a thumbs up, okay? Subscribe if you hadn't or connect with me. That way you get notified of every new video that comes up and be on the lookout because every month we're going to be having a sales training webinar, automotive sales training webinar where you have some of the top producers nationwide sharing what it is that they do to be as successful as they are. And one good tip from them could be that, that career changer for you. If you're in management and you're looking for a way to jumpstart your team, I encourage you, direct them to the webinars. Or if you're looking for somebody to come in and do for your store what has been done for thousands of other stores, which is to increase productivity, bring in much better people and increase the bottom line for your dealership, shoot me a message, give me a phone call. A conversation has never hurt anybody, I'm sure. You're probably doing a fantastic job. But if you and I talking can make your business that much better, can increase this year's sales over last year's sales, and so forth and so on, make you more profitable, hey, I think you and I both know it's well worth it. So I encourage you, make sure you realize motivation it's just a fuel. But we have to identify that why to keep us going. And if we do that, everything will work out. And you'll have a much more enjoyable time in this business. All right? Remember to like, subscribe, follow, connect. I'm Brian Maxwell, and I look forward to seeing you at the dealership. For additional information of how Sales Professionals of America Recruiting can go to work for you, visit our website, send us an email, or give us a call. Again, I'm Brian Maxwell. I want to say thank you, and I look forward to seeing you at the dealership.